achieved yet another major milestone, becoming the first medical institute in Malaysia to perform 100 transcatheter edge-to-edge -edge repair with mitraclip and triclip or tear procedures. Join us as we detail the journey behind cementing this additional treatment option for high-risk heart patients nationwide. Back in December 2011, IJN's team performed the first ever mitra clip operation under Tansri Dr. Robaya, Dato Amin, and Dato Nasir's guidance. The procedure aims to treat leaky heart valves by implanting a tiny clip through the leg, avoiding dangers of open heart operations. Offering a safer alternative to the perilous open heart valve surgeries, the mitra clip and tri clip procedure heralds newfound hope for high risk patients. Guided by Dato Amin, IJN has successfully extended this procedure to its 100th patient on 19th January 2024, revolutionizing outcomes with its minimally invasive approach. Okay, uh, mitral clip is a procedure that has been done over the years. Uh, in IGN, we started in 2011. Basically, these are patients who have a leaking mitral valve. Mitral valve is the valve that's on the left side of the heart. And patients that, uh, where we do the mitral clip are those patients where surgery probably is uh, um, not advisable because of other medical problems in these patients. Uh, you don't have to undergo open heart surgery, so that's the, basically one of the advantage. However, or not all cases are suitable for mitral clip. Uh, those that can be repaired by the surgical team should undergo uh, surgery. So it is not a replacement of surgery uh, as compared to because our surgeons also can repair the mitral valve, but that is open heart surgery. The other advantage is that the, uh, since you do not go for open heart surgery, the hospital stay is very short. You, we admit one or two days before the procedure and uh, after the procedure, if the patient is stable, within the next one or two days, the patient can go back and all he has or she has is a small scar in the groin. Uh, there's no big scar in the chest. Uh, if I just can go back in 2011, some of us were sent for training in US uh, with uh, the uh, cardiologists over there. And when we came back, we worked as a team, including um, Tan Sri Robaya and also Dr. Nasir. So we started the program in 2011 and uh, we did quite a number of cases. Then as time went on and with COVID, we sort of slowed down. And uh, I think after COVID, uh, the team uh, managed to be actively involved getting more patients. And so uh, what has happened that we have reached our 100th patient of uh, procedure for mitral clip as well as triclip. This therapy is made possible only because of a hard team concept. A concept where multiple disciplines of specialties come together. So you can see when in this room, we have the uh, interventional cardiologists, you have the surgeons, you have anesthesiologists, you have the cath catheter lab experts. We, it's not only important just to deliver the therapy, but also to patient select which patient gets the best therapy. So this is something that has to be emphasized, that the patient that seeks treatment with us goes to a rigorous discussion on to customize which therapy is best for which patient. There is definitely a succession plan and uh, since this procedure is relatively safe and, uh, and our success rate is very good, so with time I think Dr. Azmi and Dr. Jeremy will take over and they are quite comfortable helping out in this uh, procedure. With other and probably they will also train other doctors to, so that we have a pool of doctors that can do this procedure. Post pandemic, IJN rapidly grew the mitra clip and tri clip procedure volumes and became among just four centers in Southeast Asia reaching this 100 procedure milestone thanks to the Institute and Dato Amin's unrelenting drive. 
With the intricate equipment and patient's complexity, performing these life-saving repairs remains no easy task. Yet outcomes cement MitraClip and TriClip's place for the infirm, unable to withstand surgery's trauma. Okay, I think the focus today is actually the devices over there. We are going to talk about this uh, MitraClip. This is the actual the system you know, that we actually use currently. It's actually divided into the clip delivery system. We have the stirable guide handle and of course there is a clip at the end of it. But the focus is actually the clip itself. The clip technology is the one that you can actually be able to clip and of course the movability and the stability of it is actually from outside. You know, so this clip is actually goes inside the heart, okay? And of course the stability where we actually you know move around when we you know when we try to focus you know where the valve is and clip the valve is actually you know from outside of the patient. Okay. So and um, and the access to it, you know, the way we get into the heart is actually through the femoral vein uh, that goes into the right atrium. The final count of 100 mitra clip and triclip procedures marks not just a number, but a saga of resilience and advancement in cardiac treatment. As IJN looks ahead, these milestones become stepping stones in their journey to push boundaries, redefine possibilities, and ultimately change lives for the better. I'm Azaria Tagaya. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.